Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. This is a recycle it craft idea. Uh, here we have a box. And you see it's got writing on the outside all the way around it. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to reuse this box as a gift box. So we are going to collapse the box. Almost flat. And then we are going to run a knife down the seam so that the box comes all apart. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put this in the laser and we're going to cut out some shapes on the box. So give me just a second. Okay now when you put this in the machine you're going to want to make sure that it doesn't hit the laser head so you may have to fold it over on itself. And since you don't want to cut all the way through, you want to put something in between it that will keep it from doing that. Uh, you can put some metal in there. I'm going to put a mirror in to see how that works. Okay. And then we're going to need to lay something on top of this to keep it from popping up. But we'll take care of that. Okay, we here we have the box set up inside the machine. We're going to go import an image. I know you can't see my menu here, but I'm just going to scroll down it, pick what I want. Once I have it, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to take the background out. It's done. I'm going to hit confirm. Next, I'm going to Put it on the box. Then I got to figure out some settings for this thing. Click on the background. Click on material where it says wood. Come over here to say paper. Uh, corrugated cardboard. Confirm. Thickness confirm. Now, if I was going to mark it on the outside of the box, I could click on the image click here, pick what I was going to do, and put it on the box. But, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to well, I'm going to have to take this image here, and I'm going to have to offset it. And I'm going to offset it at zero. Confirm. Get rid of the image itself, keep the cut file, position it where I want it. Come over here, hit cut. Now the trick here, I may have to do it a couple times. I may want to try test piece first, but I'm just going to wing it. Um, I'm going to go with 109. See if that... Nah, that's probably too high. Let's go with 100 and... 18. See if that cuts it. All right. Hit autofocus. Then I'm going to hit cut, and I'll be right back. Okay. It would appear that my settings were good, except for number passes should have only been one. So, 100 power, 18 speed, one pass with enhanced cutting on. And what that gave me. was and it looks like if I hadn't had the mirror on there it would have probably gone through. We're using a 20 watt machine so it's probably overkill. Here's uh, what the box is going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the box back together. Stand by. Okay so here's the box put back together and then behind where I cut out I had some foil um, stuff, or you can put a piece of wrapping paper back there behind it, or anything, that, a picture, anything that you want. Put it back in behind there. And now you have a customized box to put gifts in. You can get as elaborate or simple as you want on it. It's just quick and simple to give you a basic idea. Remember, if you're cutting cardboard, you're cutting paper, so don't leave the machine unattended. 
um, watch your settings. Um, a single layer is better. If not, um, put something behind it so that it doesn't burn through the first layer into the second layer. Like, share, and follow. Have a good day.